go back to our agenda now. New business item A, discussion by Council on other action on item number 42 46 Such as pertaining to collective bargaining or litigation or work such as protecting pertaining to collective bargaining or litigation, number one, opioid negotiation, last action regards yes. national prescription opioid litigation in the LM 2804 North Dakota, Ohio. Is there a motion to take no action, which would in essence be that we are not opting out of that? So, motion by Mrs. O'Hara. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Zolensky. Any other discussion? Take a vote. Mr. Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Mr. Zolensky? Yes. Mr. Bradley? Yes. Yeah. Next item is potential litigation, Town of North Smithfield, for not having a civil suit against those legally responsible for the wrongful distribution of prescription opiates and indigenous cause thereby. Their motion to continue for study. So moved. Motion by Mrs. Zelensky. Is there a second? Second by Mrs. O'Hara. Do you have a discussion? Uh, do we? Do we put a date certain or no? For, um, I would put it down at this point just for next year. The next meeting, if you can, and I'll try to get the answer. We're going to be discussing with any the other pending litigation for council to consider a participation. Item discussion by Council Board of Other Action on second reading of budget use of renewable energy power generation revenue ordinance. So this is the um, We did have first reading of the ordinance. This renewable energy power generation revenue includes all revenue from all re renewable energy power generation plants, including solar, wind, and other the budget use of revenue from renewable energy power generation plants and my fiscal safeguards regarding the allocation of revenue from renewable energy power generation plants starting on the fiscal year July 1st, 2020. Any revenue collected from the renewable energy power generation plants should be permanently transferred into the town capital project fund. David, is there a different way to word that? Is, is this a restricted fund or do you have to? Well, I do, my, my recollection is you want to get yeah, this was second reading, so if you want to, you always can modify the link between now and, and, and the final reading, as you know. So if you want to work on that, get some fine comments. But my understanding is you, you would directed me to model it after uh, the LinkedIn ordinance that said any money would go into a capital account. So if you want to put it into a restricted account for capital purposes, you know, or you want to describe which capital purposes, but you would indicate if you want it to go into the capital fund. That's the way we're doing it. So if you want to work on the language some more based upon the public comment, um, however you want to do that, if you want to, um, I'm happy to work on it. I, I, I personally don't have a problem putting in the capital project for me, it's just, is that restricted too much? That's my point. You, no matter, keep in mind that anything the council does, they can understand. If you don't, if you create, you put this money into a capital fund and you decide that you want to take it out, you amend the ordinance and, and then the, the funds come out of that account. Nothing would stop you from having an ordinance that you have a motion to transfer the funds from one account to the other. It takes three votes to make any changes you got to this, anything you want to do. So, so part of this would be, did you, did you mention the ordinance? So, so. No, no, I'm just going to say, so it's just all capital. So I'm not asking like the solar. Right in. It just goes into uh, the 
not just get the full tax revenue but what the levy sheet. And, and I think that's what you need to confirm is does that revenue have to be part of the levy? And I think the answer is going to be yes. In Lincoln's case, I don't know if it's classified as a tax revenue. This is tangible tax revenue. In Lincoln's case, it may be like if you took, for instance, um, revenue from um, reimbursement for street lights or something, some, some type of other revenue. We have tons of revenue. If you take another a rental revenue, okay, that's that you could isolate perhaps, but this is tax levy revenue. And the tax assessor has to file the tax assessment, the tax levy form. She doesn't have the option of not including all of that tax revenue. She'd be filing a fraudulent form. So I believe it is part of the tax levy case because she has to report the revenue. And then you transfer the funds out, and that's kind of expensive that out. You don't just get to say, oh, we're going to take this tax revenue, tax money, and not report it to the state or, or, and, and burden the taxpayers, even though we have the revenue in the form of tax revenue. I think that's the question that needs to be asked of you know, the tax assessor. Is it, can we pull funds and report and fraudulently report less funds than we get the tax revenue? I don't think the answer is yes. We'll find out. Discussion by council board other action on memorial building roof repair contract. Mr. Lebowski. Uh, what is before you is a uh, result of a competitive bid. Um, we're at building construction. Uh, is the low bidder um, for the what we expect to be the last phase of our work on the um, roof at uh, the memorial town. The sum of that is twenty-eight thousand seven hundred fifteen dollars. Yeah. So the recommendation is there a motion to approve and authorize the administrator to sign the contract between Milligan Construction LLC, 55 Court Street, Providence, Rhode Island, 0245, and the amount of $28,715 for the repair of the uh, flashing and gutter repair. Salary and wage ordinance. 
Thank you, Mr. President. This is a, uh, an activity that we're delinquent in sending to you. It should have been, uh, the child requires I think that it be done in uh, June. Um, but our um, budget process doesn't wrap up um, in time to be able to do that. Um, it is before you now, it reflects the, the uh, salaries that are approved uh, by way of current contract and or current budget. Yes. 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 Yes.